Typography gives character to text. If you think about all the web pages you have visited, all the text you have seen, all of that has been designed and styled in different ways, the totality of which is what we call typography. CSS provides many meaningful ways to style your text through different properties. Let's see a few of them in action, and then we'll go into more detail so that you can learn all the tools you have to bring your text to life, because that's what CSS provides. So some things we'll go over in the demo are text align, font size, color, and line height. But these are just four of many examples that come together in a creative toolkit to make your own customized and gorgeous text. Let's check it out. Here you can see I have a document set up with just one div, which is a simple div called typography that has some text in it. And right now, if you go look at the web page, you'll see it's small and a little hard to read. And there's a number of reasons that this text doesn't really stand out. So let's try to give it some life, shall we? One thing we can do is we can align our text center. We can give it a color to stand out a little bit more. Actually, how about yellow? So now you can see we have centered yellow text. And for me, I'm a little bit of a typography nut, and I think there is a optimal width that you should have. This is too long a line. Uh, people can't read text that long. So I like to set a width of around 64%. Now it's starting to become a little more readable. Margin auto puts it back in the center. So now we can see we've aligned our text, we've given it a color and a width, but it's still a little small. So the font size property will let us set either, we could do like 24 pixels, but another thing we'll go into in later lessons is the EM. So 1.1 EM font size is a relative font size to the body font size of 18 points. So 1.1 will be just a little bit bigger. We might want to go way bigger and say like 1.4. And you know, now the lines are starting to come together a bit and there's actually a CSS property called line height, which will let us change the distance in between the lines of text. So let's do something bizarre just so you can get a look. If we set it to 3.3 EM, then you see we can have these big bold lines in between. Font size, line height, margin, width, color, text align. These are just some of the properties that come together to allow you creative typography with CSS.